Greetings, Nimrods. Dexpan. The expansive demolition route. Does it work? Well, back uh, before 9-11, this was called uh, non-explosive demolition agent, but I guess they took the word explosive out of this uh, to make it more PC. And uh, we used to use it uh, whenever we needed to uh, break up some concrete. We couldn't, uh, for whatever reason, put a jackhammer to that area. Well, thank you, Buick. Uh, as I was saying, uh, I've used this in the past, and uh, it works good in locations where you can't get a big jackhammer or a concrete saw. Um, so it does come in handy once in a while. Uh, I've never done it in a horizontal application like this. Uh, in this one, I'm trying to cut an access hole into a small crawl space. <laughs> Well, thanks again, Buick. Uh, where was I? Anyway, we're mixing this stuff up, and it's uh, basically I'm making a half batch here, and I'm going to speed up the film because I know this is boring as hell watching an old man stir uh, grout. Um, so usually you're doing this in a vertical position, and uh, you know typically I drill three quarter inch holes every six inches, five or six inches apart. Um, you are recommended to use larger holes, but this is a this isn't a horizontal, so I'm using little water bottle top caps to uh, try to funnel this stuff in. Now these holes, again, they're three quarter inch diameter holes, and they're drilled about a 15 degree angle down, just so that uh, the stuff would flow in. It's a 10 inch wall, so the holes are about nine inches through the wall because you gotta not go all the way through. Um, that way the grout is stays in the hole. Uh, I did not feel very good about this because uh, I was getting more grout on the floor than in the hole. Um, was not working well. I should, probably should have drilled them at a steeper angle. Um, so I did not have high expectations for this. In fact, I didn't do much video or photos of uh, what it looked like after I poured all this stuff in. <clears throat> Truth be known, it was mostly on the floor. I, so I didn't expect it to work. Uh, I, I thought I didn't have enough material. Maybe a third of the volume of the hole got filled. So again, I was not very optimistic about how this was going to turn out. And uh, came in the next day, you know, 12 or 16 hours or so after I had poured this. And I was surprised. Uh, it did actually crack. So... Um, You know, the the uh, cracks in it were numerous and uh, fully adequate for what I was doing. Um, I did not go and chip away at this right away because uh, I had other things to do. So um, it ended up being about 48 hours after I poured the grout in that I actually started to uh, knock uh, the blocks apart. And they, they came right apart. It only took a few minutes. Um, but here's the thing. So this is 24 hours. In this picture and the next picture is going to be 48 hours the same spot and it keeps expanding so definitely wait 48 hours uh, if you can because um, it, it expands more in fact it expanded too much uh, i thought it was going to break off at the line of holes i drilled on the side and it didn't it went up beyond right up to the top of the foundation there so our next video will be on epoxy concrete crack repair <laughs> So if you found this video interesting, consider liking it. And if you found it uninteresting, well, you probably aren't watching anymore. But share this with your social media friends. And remember, subscribe. Nimrod wants you to subscribe. Happy hunting, Nimrods.